What'd you guys give me for present day? I am Seraphina Pecula. We witches are privy to many great occurrences from many worlds. And it is very rare indeed that a story engages us as this one did. The journey of Lyra Balakwa and Yorick Burneson. The tale of their friends and foes. It affects all of these worlds and everyone in them. You guys following this? Yeah! Polar bear, wolves, n nothing to follow. Pretty straightforward. A little bit of clipping there, but. A little tiny little bit of clipping. clipping. Strangest Coke commercial ever. It is my pleasure to serve as your guide through these amazing adventures. Amazing adventures not guaranteed. I'm fired up. You know what, guys? Uh, normally, this is the part of the show where I come in and say, I'm fired up to be here. I don't know about this one. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Well, who? And we're back with the Golden Compass. I'm Judge Reinhold. I'm Diaper Chris. I'm no internet name Anthony. Yeah, so I'm fired up. I don't care how you feel, but I'm fired up. Listen, I don't know anything about this. No, I, I don't know anything about this either. Uh, I think our, our esteemed leader judge knows a little bit about the Golden I, Compass. I know that there's, well, a, there's a movie and a book, right? I, I know a lot of people aren't happy with uh, blind runs of LPs. So, you know, I still wanted to have the reaction here. So I just watched the movie. And I'm the one playing right now. So the I watched the movie. So yeah, it's not so quite you, a blind. What's the movie about? Like it's not quite a blind run anymore. It's more of a lazy iPod play. <laughs> you, ex you expect your <laughs> watching the movie is going to guide you through the game. Well, I understand most of what I've seen so far. I recognize the polar bear. Okay. And the little girl. Okay. It's, now the polar bear is a spirit animal, right? Like I don't know much. No. Isn't the Golden Compass about spirit animals. The Golden Compass is about spirit animals. These wolves are spirit animals. Why are you killing? I thought spirit animals were our friends. No, the way that it works in according to the movie is that everybody has a soul okay. represented by this spirit animal. So why and are you once, killing these people's souls? Yeah, and once the spirit animal dies, so does the person. Oh my god! Yeah. Why are you killing these wolves then? Yeah, well, why are you killing these spirit animals? Something funny I noticed. Oh. The ice is thin and weak. <laughs> Polar your bear, bear. Your bear talks. He played the, by the Sir Ian McKellen. Oh, oh okay. I thought yes. that was the rocks talking. Yes, yeah, the rocks talking. I thought they were spirit rocks. You know what the rock says? Know your context buttons. Yep. I like games that show you, you know, what button does what the whole time you're playing. That's so why so many people love Ocarina of Time. Let's, let, all right. Now that, <laughs> now that we've offended like 90% of our core. Uh, viewership. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm nervous about this one. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't I don't know anything about this. Uh, we told you there's spirit animals. Right. Ge generally, well, that was cool. I, generally, I, I'm pretty positive on generic fantasy. Uh, oh, and this fantasy is as generic as it comes. Is this okay. fantasy or is this steampunk? That is, is is the sky blue or is it uh, wide? Touche. Here's why I'm nervous. Uh, every every night before I go to bed, the camp where the Samoyeds took I'll let them boy. talk. Yeah, yeah. We must hurry. They will not keep him there for long. Is it the camp talking or the bear? Every every night before I go to bed, uh, mm -hmm. I, I throw on Netflix because I, I I'm I'm someone who likes to have something to go to sleep to, right? And uh, every every night while I'm scrolling through things to to watch, I I see the movie Hugo. And I'm like, oh, that's the game we're gonna be let's playing. And then I'm like, oh no, it's 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 it's, it's, it's Golden, Golden Compass. Compass. It's not Hugo. I heard Hugo was good. Oh, I heard it? Golden Compass not so good. No, 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 no. Hundred eighty million dollar budget made sixty million. So we're not Yikes. gonna get to see Golden Compass two, is what you're saying? No, there are a lot of conspiracy theories about that on the internet, uh, whether or not it has to do with the Catholic Church, because the the we author of this what. The Pope? No. We'll get to that. The author of this is a militant atheist. <laughs> militant, you say? Yes, yes. He, why, why does he hate God? 
He wishes to undermine all of religious society. With spirit animals. With spirit animals. Called demons. Spelled as Damon. Damon. But, but pronounced but Demon. People in the know know that Damon okay. is actually like, pronounced. Like Matt Damon? That's not fair. Or like... Stole my joke already, didn't you? You stole my joke already. That's fine. I don't care. Chris is jumping the gun tonight. <laughs> it's going to be his MO. Stealing everybody's jokes. I'm just kidding, Chris. I love you. You guys like that joke? I'm going to get If a you look. liked it a lot, you should write in and tell Anthony that you're <laughs> upset that I stole his joke. I'm going to do a little real talk before before we get too too into this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you mentioned that the, the, the there's con- conspiracy theories online that the the Catholic Church has something to do with this movie not doing well. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. Um, you know, raised raised Catholic all my life. I, I was always confused as a child. I guess more as as a teen when I was you know more knowledgeable about these things. Why the Catholic Church is always super supportive Excellent. of fantasy that's written by Catholic people like C.S. Lewis. It's almost as though it's like an insular club that rewards members. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, I wonder why that is too. But, I sense sarcasm in your guys. But voice. they tend to be dismissive of you know the the Tolkens of the world who aren't. You sound inherently Catholic, you, sir. Sound like a typical Damon supporter. Golden Compass Man Look, over there. Look, I just want to get this real Militant talk. Militant atheist. I just want to get this real talk out of the way. Going to church. You know, I'm not taking a side here. I'm not saying who's right or who's wrong. I'm just saying this, you know, as a teenager, I had these thoughts. And I, I guess I continue to have them or else I wouldn't have brought it up. Looks like the bear's farting. So, so Some other things that I was concerned about this game. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, no problem. Look, I, I'm just trying to keep the conversation, the dialogue going. We've got a lot of game to get through. Uh, and I can talk a lot, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna carry us through this one. 14 hours of this. Uh, when when we, we finally decided that we were doing this game, I was like, oh, that'll be fun. We get to dust off the old Xbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Xbox 360. You know, I, I watched a couple of clips online. Uh, he thought it was for the Xbox. <laughs> read a little bit about it. I was like, oh, these are some decent uh, decent Xbox graphics. This is a great Atari game. <laughs> <laughs> nope, good. Xbox. Good. And we, look, honestly, we're, we're probably doing ourselves a disservice here by coming out and already shitting on this game. Who knows? It might be a ton of fun. It, uh, it from all the reviews I've read, no. It has a Metacritic score of 46. Oh, that's great. Let me tell you about the Rotten Tomatoes score right. of Golden Compass, the movie. Mm-hmm. I bet it's 46. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> Life really what? imitates art. Now, now Hugo. Mm-hmm. Hugo, the movie you thought we were going to yeah. let's play. Or I'm sorry, it was 42, not 46. Oh. Anyways, but Hugo, 94%. Is, does Hugo have a video game? Can we play that? No, it's probably worse than the Golden Compass game, ironically. Okay. Usually the better the game is. Right. Or the better the movie is, you know, the worse the game. Okay. Do, do we know what Hugo is about? <laughs> I'm sorry to derail it's this about, already. It, it's about... It's a... He, here are uh, Yorick's armor. Oh, neat. Nah, he, he's already wearing armor. Well, all right. Use your imagination, all right? Pretend he isn't. And now he does. Oh. Oof. Okay. So the he, Yorick is an armored bear, right? And um, as I mentioned earlier, it's played by Sir Ian McKellen. I'm I'm digging the bear. That's cool. Everyone likes uh, you know bears messing stuff up. That's a that's a pretty cool concept. Indeed, so we've got that going for us. I like Yogi Bear. Now, would I say he's my Damon? No. But you know what I'm curious about? Funny you should mention that, Chris. I am curious about what the Taster's spirit animal daemons are. Ooh, I like that. So we'll have a little bit of examples a little bit later. Oh my god, this is... That's vicious. That's, this bear is... Look at... <laughs> this bear is hungry. Let me, let me tell you. Hungry like he, the wolf? He, no, no. He's tearing apart these wolves like the atheist logic is to religious dogma. Spoiler alert, my spirit... Dogma, you get it? Because <laughs> they're wolves. Spoiler alert, my spirit animal might have to do with some something to do with 80s pop sensation Duran Duran. Just a, just a hint. I, I'm not saying that's what it is. You're trying to say it's a wolf. Uh, I'm, look, I'm hungry. I'm Am I hungry like a wolf? I'm going to clue you I in. I don't know. I'm going to clue you in. All the bad guys in the movie have wolves or like Dobermans. Oh, as you could their. flurry him. Oh, give me a McDonald's flurry. <laughs> I, look, I think that the the the, t- the most of the experienced tasters would agree that I, I'm probably the villain of this pod play. That's so, true. Maybe that's true. it's no. up for debate. <laughs> well, I mean, like, what do you think happens first? Because when you're a kid, apparently your spirit animal is constantly changing, and then eventually it settles. Oh, that's so like awesome. every thug has a wolf. So they're like, mm-hmm. when you think when their spirit animal settles on a wolf, they're like, well, 
uh, henchman or club bouncer. Well, maybe, maybe that's a that's a telling that's a, that that the thugs are inherently childish in their belief. Perhaps. Ah. Perhaps. I mean, whoa! That's that's victory cool. dance. I like the part where you did the flurry. That was pretty cool. That was my favorite part. Uh, overall, I give that fight sequence a B. Thanks. Okay. I'm gonna press Y for action. Oh, neat. I like how uh, the game has started us in uh, in what the Greeks would say. Uh, it, it, for, forgive me if I fuck up the pronunciation because I wasn't in uh, Day it, of Sex Machina. Nope. Swing and a miss. Oh. Um, uh, olives. E, e olives. pluribus unum. Swing and oh. a miss. Strike two. Oh. No. Ichbenine Berliner. Got it. Nailed it. Oh. Crush it. Home run. Uh, N. 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 Fuego. N. Huh? Fuego. N. N Medius. And uh, Mediterranean salad. Yeah, N. Mediterranean salad. I like they they put the the, the feta, maybe some olives. Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh, am I a lamb guy? Not always. I, you're not. Don't lie to the taster. The tasters are smarter than that. They know you're a chicken nugget guy. Yeah. You're not a lamb guy. He's a nug man. He's the no. nug man. Uh, I am nug man. Is my spirit it's too animal late to reinvent chicken? yourself. No, my spirit animal is still changing, and it's going to be changing throughout the course of this LP. You are I'm but still a child. Going. I'm but a child. If, if Anthony's the villain of this group, I'm the child. That's true. No, I like that we've, we've started in the middle of things. It makes for for an interesting storytelling. Uh, if you help me up, you're in the middle of the action. In the middle of the action. It is like in medias something. I don't know. I don't speak Greek. Yeah. I'm a big girl. And plus I have pan to take. Now, who's the girl? What's her name? Uh, her name's Katniss Aberdeen, and she has a spirit animal named Pan. And Pan is still changing. Uh, mostly for co uh, plot convenience, it seems like. Okay. So are you going to have to like use Pan in different ways? Oh, cool. That was a good jump you did there. I didn't. Uh, I didn't find that to be believable. It's hard to grasp onto things when you're wearing mittens. I'm just saying. Look at, look at this. <laughs> very, uh, very star-studded cast list of the movie. Uh, Daniel Craig. Oh, Nicole neither. Kidman. Uh, James okay. Bond himself. Uh, I think we've mentioned this before. I, I Chris, love. I love Nicole Kidman. Really? Oh, yeah. She's she's an older lady, but I. Oh. Yeah, I know, something about Nicole Kidman does it for me. Uh, Ruff, Christopher Ruff. Lee as well. Christopher Lee, great, great actor. Mm-hmm. This this girl, I don't know her name. It's like Dakota Fanning. She uh she's great. She does a very good job. She is the best actor. It's a shame that um the Catholic Church conspired against this movie because uh I think she uh, had a pretty good career uh, ahead of her. And then she got into the drugs. No, as all child actors are want to do. You, I think you're going for shock value, Chris. I don't think it's landing. All right, uh, Chris, just being inauthentic here. It's, I, it's I don't okay. appreciate it. I, and I'm you're here. you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. You have a splint in your tooth. Sure, you're, you're considering getting a gold tooth. I think that's a little thuggish. I don't like the road you're heading down. All right, let me tell you about Dakota Fanning. She's 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. She was born in 1994. Oh, great. That makes her 18, right? Okay. February 23rd. What, what's today's date? Uh, uh, like 20, 23rd. What? Let me no. Let me tell you something. Today's date, February 14th. That's right, folks. We're recording this on Valentine's Day for you. I'm, I'm gonna be. Re I'm not gonna lie to the tasters like you are, Chris. Look, you know, could we be with our loved ones? Yeah, Chris, could you be if with If we your, had them, yes. Chris, could you be with your beautiful uh, wifey and, and, and wonderful dog? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Judge, mm -hmm. could you be with your... On and, uh, my like, anime pillow? Yeah. Fuck, you stole my joke. I was going to be... I was going to... I Look, I set I set him up for wife. I Man. Set, I set you up. I set me up for Japanese love pillow, and you totally threw it off. Don't you worry, messed I'll fix up it. all my jokes. I'll fix it in post. I like, if, you guys, I like, if you guys like that joke, you should write in and tell Anthony that... You feel upset that Judge stole his joke. <laughs> That's going to be my thing this season. We're calling them seasons, right? Seasons? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be my thing for this season. I'm going to be mad when you steal the joke that I made up. We did it. Would you consider yourself a Dakota Fanning fan? Judge. Can what you was please Dakota watch the game, Chris, <laughs> rather than your the phone? Secret, the secret life of bees. What was her, Dakota Fanning's first? She had like a breakout hit. Was It a, It was like a Shyamalan joint, wasn't it? Well, it was uh, 1988's Tono Ro no to Toro. No, no, no. What was her breakout? What was, what was the... When, uh, she when was on ER start, in 2000. When did we first start talking this about This little Dakota girl Fanning? was on ER in 2000? She must have been like playing a baby. She played uh, Delilah Chatsy. 
Go back. Wasn't she? She's in a Shyamalan joint, right? That's where she first got famous. She's oh yeah, alien it's probably this one right here, Allie McBeal. She played five-year-old Allie. You know, I'm tasters. not buying it. I'm not buying it. All right, I'll find it for you. Yeah. You want me to find it? Watch the game. I'm getting yelled at. All over again. She was in Tomcats. <laughs> That's disgusting. That is disgusting. She's like eight, and this movie came out in 2007. No, the Tom. She was in the movie Tomcats. 2001. She played little girl in park. Well, thank God. I'm looking for you. Hold on. Have, have any guys seen Tomcats? She, I am no. Sam. I am Sam is like her big first movie. No, it's where she's in a Shyamalan joint. You're killing me here. Just, just tell me what Shyamalan joint she is in, so I don't feel foolish anymore. Doctor Seuss. Yeah, that sounds like a Shyamalan joint. Chris is just relishing. Just relishing. He has a captive audience, and he just, My he just can't get enough here. of it. War of the Worlds. There what? it is. That's not it! <laughs> Listen, you... I looked through them all. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. You might be right. I might be crazy. Hey, when you're right, you're, you're probably right. Maybe we could use one of those static types to cross. What do you guys think? I, I'm Maybe pretty sure the game told, told us we could probably do it. We could probably do it. I'm guessing it's that one with the little the marker on it. Well, you don't know that yet. So let's uh, get some insight. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Press X for insight. Huh? All right. I think we could go with it. Oh, okay. just to jump away. Thank you, video game. Oh, okay, good. It's just a they put that in away. there so that kitties it's just can know. A away. It. This is a baby oh. game. Okay. A game for babies. Um. Well, I, I mean, we can have a conversation on this, uh, right? So so this game is guiding us a little bit. Oh, I do need to use it. Uh, uh, ah. Spirit guiding us? <laughs> How do we feel about that? Is that? Is this a modern trope? Or is this something that's here to stay? Uh, video, throwing rocks at stalactites? Video games? I think it's modern, yeah. and it's cool. Yeah, the more linear, the better, is what I always say. That's why my spirit animal right now is a snake. All right, now let's give this a toss. Wow, what an arm on that girl. She didn't even ooh, try. Ooh, rough. Call her up. Call her up from the miners. I'm calling the bullpen. Coach, bring in the righty. I'm making the sign. You can't see it. He's making the sign, folks. Genius work. Yeah. Genius work. Throwing a rock at another rock. 